It is a beautiful day in Ohio, and this is my brand new 2025 KTM 300 XCW Champion Edition. Just picked it up yesterday from my good buddy Wally, KTM Wheels Force Columbus, Ohio. Now, I've been riding it all afternoon, back to back with my 3D Factory Edition, my Beta. I've been in the woods, been on the trails. And now, what do I think? First ride, we've got about an hour on it now. Everything's stock, suspension, clickers, I put it comfort. I'm 6'2", 190 pounds, and slow vet guy. But I haven't been, I wanted to get back on a PDS bike. I thought they've had it out for a couple of years, this new chassis, and I wanted to try it. I like PDS. My last one was a 21 Erzberg. I had that for a couple of years. Now my buddy Greg has it. And it's fun to get on the TBI stuff. I like the, I had a 300 XC and a 300 TX. So I like that big bursty kind of power linear partial torque. But I wanted to try the enduro version, which has nine less horsepower according to spec, but you never feel it riding it. I think up top, it definitely doesn't have as much top end, but low to mid, it feels really good. And it's super smooth. It just builds the power so smoothly. This one, Champion Edition, came with the uh, fan, the the uh, floating rotor it's got the super sprocks and it has a map switch along with the cool orange paint and red bull stuff so let's take it for a spin and talk about it one of the things i noticed jumping between bikes is when i had the old uh pds bike i always felt like the bars were up and it was a steeper front end and this thing has same low bars as the cross-country bike and I don't think the forks are different lengths anymore and the back doesn't feel as tall. I don't really notice that it's a PDS bike, which I guess is maybe good or just something I noticed. The power is so smooth. Suspension is plush. I love the wood setting. And I love the playfulness of it. It's got this light feel through the pegs, especially when you're standing up. It just feels light and agile. Now one thing interesting too is on the motorbikes, they went to a softer frame this year, more compliant. And this one didn't get that, but I noticed it on the motorbikes. But I don't can't say that I notice it really on this bike. Oh, is it fun? It's an old GP track prepped by Mother Nature. Choppy and rough and old XCW doesn't mind at all. Oh, that partial throttle, linear torque. Of the TBI. Take it in the woods. And it has good agility. Just the way it kind of whoop goes into the corners. It's funny. I find myself carrying a lot of speed. There's no engine braking. If I get off my four strokes. Fun. Brakes are strong. That MX-33 front tire, not my favorite. Oh, that roll-on torque, it's so nice. So, 20, listen how nice that thing's running. 
It's a little noisier than the beta, but it's just smooth. I've got an hour on it. I got no spoos. Partial throttle lineal linear torque is really good on these bikes. XCW power smooth. Roll on. It's a, it's a lot easier to ride than the 300 XC or TX. Those bikes are beasts, but this one feels very comfy. I'm in the green map. I can put the white map, and it softens it more. This new PDS chassis, I like it. The uh, I I love the simplicity of it. How you can get to everything. And it feels good. The clicker's easy to get to. It's got the fan, although it never kicked on today. And uh, I like the ergos. These ergos feel real good. I like the bars. It just doesn't feel like a, quote, woods bike. I feel just like the Moto or my 350 Factory Edition or my 450 Factory Edition. feels very similar. So, man, it is fun. Everything's stock. Everything is bone stock and it feels really good right off the showroom floor. So initial impressions, two big thumbs up. Looking forward to more ride time soon. Hopefully the weather holds out here in Ohio. Two big thumbs up. 25 KTM 300 XCW Champion Edition.